Belt and Brothers Hot Rod Project uh, 4 Part 3. I'm going to be grinding a little bit more of the frame, um, see what else comes up, never know. <laughs> Some of this concrete's on here so hard that I can't get it off without a hammer, so it's fun. Kind of bugs the neighbors a little. Sorry. All right, man, update time. Got a lot grinded. Up this side, this side. Upper side all the way down. Bug get off of me. I got some of this done. Comparably, you know, a clean, screwed up, screwed up. <laughs> anyway, I saw on here that this support was only tack welded on here and here. And though it's in there pretty buff, it's not connected anywhere, dude. So I'm gonna weld that up so it stays buff because that's pretty buff material, but. As you can see, stuff happens and it gets bent. That one's way out of true and I might be able to fix that. But uh, I'm gonna weld this one up so I don't have to worry about this side. There's your after. One solid piece of metal, dude. You like that? Yeah, I bet Joey will too. I'm gonna do that to the other side and work on keep cleaning this up, man. This stuff takes forever, dude. You know what I mean? Thinking about doing a relief cut down here. This is where it's bent. I figured if I did a relief cut, then I could bend it up, move it in, move it back over, and then weld it down with a strut piece right here. To help straighten it out but whatever they hit it was big and it was heavy and this side needs to be welded too it's just dude can i do it can i get there at the end of the day no i'm gonna try to do to this side what i did to that side and then get that far and then i'll try to assess if i can straighten that out or not okay that side's clean now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and weld this in first Fill in these little voids, blah, blah, blah. Just like I did on the last one, weld around back in here. But I wanna make sure that this end is welded up and strong before I go to horking on it because if something bends or gets out of alignment, that would be really hard to get back in or true up or whatever. So I'm just gonna take care of that now so I don't screw myself later. So when I come back, it'll be a finished weld. So before... And there's the after. Again, a good join. I even dove, or, uh, rounded the bullnose, the edges. Okay, what I'm doing now is, uh, here, I'll go down this way. I'll straight line it for you. See how the other one bends out down there? Rink. And up here, it's pretty straight. It's just the bottom end, so it's not too bad. And I scored a relief cut in it down on the bottom too. I got to open the cut up a little bit more so it spreads and then I'll take this big old wrench and tack her down where it's straight. Now we look down the line. You like it? I think I do. 
I mean, see right where it was. I'm gonna hork it a little bit past where it should be, so it's a little tighter. But I think I fixed it. And I want you to look how fat this metal is, dude. It's like quarter inch. This bumper's beef, dude. You run into this, and your car is totaled, baby. Might even put some supports from here to there. Extra beef, triangulation. <laughs> that way these don't bend anymore. We'll see. Got it on, man. That's where the weld was. And you see underneath, there's a little bump. But you know what, dude? I could way deal with the bump rather than a crooked ass bumper. So there you go. Sightline, baby. Straighten out that big old beast. I think that's all the work I'm gonna do today on the Ford. I have a few other things I have to dial in around here because I have something very important to do down in Sacramento tomorrow. I'll be filming it and look for it on the upload. So thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod.